So today I have received a long-awaited package from Grobe. This is the result of months and months of partnership work between Mastercam and Grobe. I'm so excited to finally have this thing in my hands and show you guys what we have. The Mastercam Partnerships Department has partnered with Grobe for the first time on a really cool manufacturing project. So this thing is just really going to show the pinnacle of what Grobe and Mastercam are capable of when working together. So what we made is a one-piece aluminum goalie mask. This thing was made from one single solid piece of aluminum on two setups inside of a Grobe G550. This is a full mesh model made in Mastercam 2024, programmed again in two setups. The first setup, we have this thing sitting upside down as a full solid blank of aluminum on a big fifth axis rock lock riser plate. We basically take and hollow the entire inside of this thing out in the first setup. Thanks to some really long tools and holders from a Moogie Franken, we were able to reach all the way down inside of this deepest pocket. Our tools are over a foot long to reach the very bottom of this thing. And then, as you can see here, we have the rock lock fixture pull studs for the second setup, where we mount on top of a custom fifth axis rock lock fixture plate, which allowed us to have full access to this entire part thanks to Grobe's five axis motion. This is the result of a lot of partners coming together. Of course, Mastercam did the programming, Grobe did the multi-axis machining, and we also had the help of fifth axis rock lock work holding. We also had Verica on board for a full simulation of this project. Every line of code, hundreds of millions of lines of code, was run through Verica before it made it to the Grobe machine. All the tooling was provided by Amugi Franken. We used 14 different tools to make this thing. Something like this is obviously not a real world part. This is a very artistic part but it shows a lot of really important principles. Of course, this is all machined from a mesh model. Really, there's a lot of intricate stuff in here too. These bars are all under two millimeters in diameter and they were part of the original blank. This was machined from one single piece. These bars aren't bolted on, there's no welds here. This was all machined from a complete solid. You might not be making hockey masks in your shop, but a lot of what I learned on this project, I think is gonna to apply to anything that Mastercam users are doing in their day-to-day -day process. So keep an eye out for some follow-up videos on this project where I go over the tools that I used, how it helped make this part be successful, and how I think it's gonna help you be successful in the future as well.